Let's get a nice view of the sleeping lazy bum. <laughs> oh, whoops. My bad. Did I wake you? Let's do this. Uh, the other two stars in this, if you're just coming back from last episode, quick recap. I just wasted all my lives, wasted time getting more lives, only to get the last star that I can get in that world. Um, just right there. So I'm done with that world, and I think I'm about to pay Bowser, but I'm going to activate the uh, red cap really quick. Look at that, look at those uh, red... That little wings on his head is making him fly. That's freaking crazy. That is freaking scary. Anyway, I'm going to go see if I can land this. Oh, oh, I missed it. Darn. Oh, I missed again. <laughs> oh, I didn't even have to ground pound. That was lame. Would you like to save? Yeah, sure. Um... No, I'm just gonna die. And I, I'm actually not dying straight into nothing. It's I'm falling right from. That's actually really cool if you think about it. Uh, the uh, the sky is its own little painting, and then you go into that little painting, and then you turn into the sky. That's really cool. Anyway, two free coins to heal up, power of money. This is locked, so I can't go in yet. Can I even go into the Boo World yet, or do I have to beat Bowser first? Let's see. All right, the boo's activated. They are. Do I want to do the boo? I'm not going to do the boo. Yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, go, on, go ahead and defeat Bowser. And. Do, do, do. Yeah. Oops. My B. My B. So anyway, these stars, as you can see, each of these, they only have no stars or no number on it. I needed three stars to enter that. That had no little... That's a wooden door, so that means nothing. That's a key. I need one star to enter there. These stars are the Bowser doors, or the, the sacred doors, if you will. I don't know what you call them, but you need X amount of stars to open them. I only needed eight. I have over twice that amount, so I'm more than Gucci to go. Wait, reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. Who's talking? Who, who's talking? Is that Princess Toadstool? Is that... Who is that? See, it's kind of creepy. Well, it's not creepy because he goes, actually, now that... Now that I'm looking at it, that is really creepy. You see Princess Peach's face starting to turn into Bowser. That looks kind of scary. And as it slowly turns into Bowser, that's a... Oh my gosh, that's a... Actually, that's, that's a really cool picture. I'm actually more scared of this Princess Toadstool. Uh, I'm too short to see it right there. Let's see if I can... That is a scary picture of Toadstool, to be honest. But I'll just see that... Oh my gosh, imagine seeing that picture at night. <laughs> Um, all the lights are off. See, if I see that, actually, that'd be pretty scary, too. Man, I'm just trying to do something cool. And I warn you, friend. How nice. How nice, Boozer. That's cool. And I'm just going to run straight through. And you see red coins here, too. It is possible for me to get a red coin star. Oh, my gosh. I almost lost another life right there. Let's see if I can start collecting lives right here. Uh, you know I'm going to need them. Any poo? Yeah, you can collect red coins here. You can do that in all three of the Bowsers. So There's this Bowser Underworld, Bowser Lava World, and Bowser in the Sky. And all three of them, those are three of the 15 secret stars that you can get. Again, I am going to, like all red coins and all secret stars, I'm going to hold off on that till a later episode. And yeah, I'm, just, I'm how many episodes in and I still don't even know when I'm going to do that stuff. I really don't like the whole collecting episodes. It's kind of boring. It's kind of dull. I don't like it. I think this is a... What do you call it? Extra life. Yep, this is exactly what I need. You got what I need. Uh, okay, save. Save peasy. Ooh, extra life. Let's see if I can get it from right here. Risky. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I deserve that. I 100% deserve that. Oh, but that's cool. Because I need to show you guys something right here. What I want to do is... Let's see if I can get that thing to show back up come back up. I, want to, I used to do this as a child. Oh, no, you can't do it. I used to play bouncy with it. Like, it was closed. I would just jump, and then, oh, friend, you should run into my trap. Alright, don't take any stupid risks. Got it. Don't carelessly jump to this fire that I almost jumped into anyway. I just said don't take any stupid risks, and I jump like that. Well, anyway, oh, yeah, I just got an extra life, so I kind of canceled. You know what? I think I'm going to spend more lives trying to get more lives then I will actually benefit getting more lives. So guess what? I am not going to get any more lives. I'm just going to go ahead and kick Bowser's butt. Oh my gosh! This is terrible! Oh, I'm a terrible human being. I'm a terrible player. 
You would think I've never played this game before, even though this is the game of my childhood. You step right into my trap, friend. I was actually a really scary being. Like a big dinosaur turtle with spiky shell. That's just a scary creature right there. I would not want Mario. Or I would not want Bowser as my... I think about it. How did these start to be enemies? I mean, I know there's a backstory with the previous games. And all that good. Is this extra life? Oh, shoot. I'll, I'm not going to go fight them. But if they're just going to hand it to me like that, sure. Like, of all the things, like, Mario's a human character, Princess Toastal's a human character, and of course that would happen to me. Let's get the power of money. But, like, why Bowser is, like, that weird creature being? Why not another human to, oh, shoot, to sort of be your antagonist of this game? I mean, in the live-action films of the Mario games, you got Bowser being portrayed as a human character. So, I don't know. It's really weird if you really think about it. I mean, really think about it. Yoshi's a dinosaur, and that's one of Mario's BFFs. Oh, come on! This is, oh my gosh, rookie mistakes! This is supposed to be a nice short episode with only one goal, and that was to defeat Bowser, and I can't even do that! I can't even do that! But Yoshi is a dinosaur, one of Mario's BFFs. And Luigi's his brother, he's a human character at least. Princess Toadstool is a human character. A Wario. Is, oh, Wario! Talking about Wario, there's a cool joke I heard. Let's see if you can zoom in right here. The reason why uh, Wario is so big is because... Uh, oh no, what was he at? No. No, the, the joke is, the reason why Wario is so big and Mario is so small is because Mario had his belt on Mini. I think I said that joke wrong. The joke was supposed to be Wario had his size on Wombo, and that was really badly delivered. I wish I could take that back. I wish I hadn't said that. I wish I had practiced that joke a little bit, and I had a better chance to deliver it, because most of joke telling is not actual content. You can have the best and most clever content in the world, but if you can't deliver it, it's kind of, you know, you miss the moment. Quickness is a, well not quickness, that's more if you're having a conversation or if you're trying to have a comeback. Having quickness with your reaction time is cool, but for me, having the delivery of a joke is just as important of the content and the punchline of the joke. And I wish I had the delivery. The content was potentially there. I'm sure a lot of you guys would have enjoyed it had I delivered it right, but because it was not a good delivery, it was it was gone. It was a bad joke. It, it could have been it had so much. Oh look, this music's pretty sick. Do, 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 do. Oh, look, Mario, Princess Toadstool is in here. Wah <laughs> Go ahead and just try to grab me by the tail. Why would your immortal... You'll never be able to swing me around. Like, seriously. Why would your immortal enemy or your... Like, your, your enemy. He's your... Why would he tell you exactly how you're supposed to defeat him? Should I go for style? I'm gonna go for style. I'm gonna go for that one right there. So long, King Bowser. That's a taunt. Uh, let's see if I can get it. Yes! That was hot. There you go. That was an amazing hit. Dude, I feel pretty good about that one, actually. See, but yeah, look. Is this ice cold? That's actually really sad. Girl, I was a bit clear of this. I still have Peach. There you go. We finally start calling Princess Toast still Peach. But as far as I'm concerned, it's still Princess Toast. Still. And the key. Look at this. I'm gonna walk right in the middle of the key and not get it. Nope. I don't want the key. 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 Bowser turns into a key. So was that the real Bowser? Was that like a fake Bowser? Is Bowser actually just secretly a key this whole time? Bowser in the dark world? Oh, it's a dark world. Oh, that's pretty crazy. We basically just went to hell. Ooh, Bowser is the Dark Lord. Oh my gosh, we just faced Voldemort. Yeah, not Voldemort. Voldemort. This J.K. Rowling. Um, again, a bad joke. Oh, is it? Is it down? Dang it! I want to show you guys a cool little trick, but that's okay. I'm not going to. J.K. Rowling told us how to the correct way to pronounce Voldemort. Of course, she waited until the entire uh, the entire movie franchise was over before correcting us. So we look like fools for seven slash eight movies saying Voldemort. Maybe. That's why he was the one who shall not be named, because no one could actually say his name right. 
Anyway, that key you saw me got just led me to the basement. I think I'm about to take a break of this game real soon. Um, should I get the red coins next episode? Uh, you know what? I think now's a good time to get the red coins. But I'll save that for next episode. So I'm going to get the red coins for the, uh, what do you call it? The yeah. one, two, three, and four worlds. The Bob on Battlefield, Thwomp Village, Fortress, the, uh, the, uh, yeah. The, what do you call it? I don't even remember the, the Jolly Roger Bay and the Cool Cool Snowman. That's what I'll do next episode. So let's get myself ready for that. Actually, why am I fooling around right here? Let's get myself ready. Put myself in prime position. Right in front of the paintings. Let's analyze these paintings. Actually, I can even just get the red coins up. No, I'm not going to get any of the secret stars. Should I get the 100 coins too? Uh, nah, I'll save all the 100 coins for another time. I really don't like collecting coins. It's really boring. I, I'll do that as like a little bonus feature, but I will collect the red coins for these four worlds right now So let me just find a good place to stop. Let's talk to this toadstool real quick I'm glad to see you the princess side. Well, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to sound like toad and back in the back in the day toad sounded like with a high voice Oh, Am I glad to see you the princess and I and well everybody we're all trapped inside the castle walls and now Toad sounds like he's on some sort of uh, drugs. There's no, there's no way around it. He sounds like he's on drugs. Bowser has stolen the castle stars, and he's using the power to create his own world. The paintings on the walls, they are covered with power stars. And you find them, the doors have been sealed. More rooms, bomb them, bomb! Are these worlds? Nope, they're not worlds. This actually looks like the the original Game Boy game, so I don't know if they're the original ones, but like the older games, looks like the clouds in the world. That's a cool little throwback if that's exactly what it is. <sighs> Enough talking, I'm going to get myself ready for the next episode. So this is going to be the start of the Red Coin Challenge. Signing out.